Hello everyone, I'm Melanie White. Uh, this is my senior seminar personal portfolio. I have entitled it, A Sampling of Sociology to Simplify Society for Myself. I'm not gonna try to say that again. Here we go. In Sociology 4420, we learned about classical and contemporary sociological theory and theorists. We were given an introduction to the founding fathers of sociology and their contributions, concepts, and theories. We were given an overview of the basic principles and perspectives in sociology. Um, at the top of the page, I have um, one of my favorites, Georg Simmel. He was a German man, he was Jewish. He was labeled as an unacceptable teacher um, in his time because of his Jewishness. His theories are almost uncategorizable. He is kind of all over the place. I like that about him. I loved what he taught me about sociability. I loved what he taught me about flirtation. He studied a lot of different things. He was a real Renaissance man. Then we have W.E.B. Du Bois, who was a black man in America realizing that he was behind in the social circles because of his race, which is a completely socially fabricated thing. Du Bois is brilliant and deep, and um, I, he's just very, very intriguing to me. Finally, we have Jürgen Habermas, who was a critical theorist who borrowed some from symbolic interactionism and um, talked about the life world and systems. Very cool man, very cool man. Next we have socio, uh, Social Science 3375, an introduction to social scientific inquiry. In this course, we read the book Bad Blood. We learned about ethics in research. We learned about qualitative and quantitative research. We learned about surveys, samples, everything you could know about social research taught to us with my textbook by Earl Babby, who is this middle photograph here, showing uh, the research methods to leave no stone unturned. And so much emphasis on ethics, uh, we watched the Stanford Prison Experiment movie, that was fascinating. On my own, I watched The Experimenter about Stanley Milgram, and it was just a fascinating course, and I'd love to get more into that. Um, here was Bad Blood, the Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment, the book by James Jones, um, that talked about a very unethical experiment that was performed on African-American men in the middle of Alabama, I'm afraid way too close to this time. So um, bad, bad research methods, uh, bad ethics there. Um, my survey that I had to do for that class, I pulled my classmates online about their study habits and about their age, about random things about their being students, and um, was trying to determine if older students like myself, um, there was a little bias, I gotta give you that. Older students like myself, if we make more dedicated students, more devoted, more ready to be students than maybe your 18 to 20 year olds. Let's see. Social Science 3376 was statistical application of social science inquiry. It was all about what you do with the numbers you find, who you found doing what, and how you put your information together to present it to the general populace. Here, where I found this cool little chart that says, where can I find information? That's what I titled it. This apparently is the population of every state in the United States. And this is where we get our sample, and this is who we need to be talking to to find out things about our society and what we need to do to make changes. Let's see. 
uh, here we are right now in Social Science 4499, the senior seminar. I hope you like my little hire me guy over there with his mortarboard. Um, in this course, we have prepared for real life. We've prepared for finding careers that are related to what we've learned in Troy, at Troy, from our instructors and professors. We did a strengths and weaknesses personal assessment, the SWOT assessment. We created new resumes, new cover letters. We had a mock interview. We uh, made a job search and promotional plan timeline and um, made a good plan for life, I'd say. My favorite part of Senior Seminar was Brian Stevenson's Just Mercy. The book was very hard to read. It was heartbreaking. It was torturous. It was true. Um, it was set in Monroeville, most of it, which is the setting for my favorite book from my youth, To Kill a Mockingbird. And I'm afraid it makes a mockery of the lesson that To Kill a Mockingbird taught us. That aside, you should read the book. And I did get to go see Brian Stevenson at University of South Alabama while I was taking this course. And it was very moving. I have to tell you, I cried the whole time. Took my daughter and my best friend and her son. I want to work for this man and with this man in any capacity. Finally, career aspirations abound. What are we going to do next? What am I going to do next? I would like to join Mr. Stevenson's Equal Justice Initiative. I am going to apply, show my interest in the Justice Fellowship, and see if they will have me, see what we can do together. Um, if not, I'm going to get straight away into Youth Oriented Services, um, YMCA, uh, Rotary, any after school youth programs, I'm, I'm up for absolutely any way to help anywhere I can. So that's what I'm trying to do with my life. And I think that I'm absolutely prepared for it. My understanding of sociology and social science has really opened my eyes to so many things, so many new ways to think and so many new things that I need to be doing. Thank you so much. That's me. My references. Thank you.